video, I will show you how to crochet a headband. So before you begin, create a slip knot. And then crochet, chaining 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have chaining 10 and then the first stitch. From the second chain, I will crochet slip stitch. And the next one, yarn over slip stitch. Next, slip stitch. And then yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch and the last one slip stitch. So this created the first row and then for the second row turn your work chain one. The first stitch will be slip stitch. Crochet in the back loop, front loop and then back loop Yarn over slip stitch in the back loop. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. And the last one, slip stitch. So keep repeating this process for every row crochet this process in the back loop only so keep continuing and i will be right back now i have finished with my desired length so i will measure with tape measure I have 16 inches long and then I will join the headband insert in the first stitch And then chain one. Simply cut the yarn and pull through. And then finished. And you can decorate your flower on the top like this. Next, I will show you how to make a button holes. So for my band size, I have 16 inches long. From this to this. 16 inches long. Next, I will make button holes. So when we make the button holes, we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So the middle will be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will make 3 stitches for the button holes. So I will crochet 3. 
So chain one. The first one. Slip stitch. The second one, yarn over slip stitch. Next, slip stitch. And then chaining three. One, two, three. One, two, three, skip. And then crochet in the next one. This one, slip stitch. And the next one, yarn over slip stitch. And the last one, slip stitch. So this one will be button hole. This is my button. So I will check. Perfect. It's fit. After this row, I will crochet the next row. Turn your back. Chain 1. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Then yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. Yarn over slip stitch. Slip stitch. And remember crochet in the back loop only. Yarn over slip stitch. And slip stitch like this if you want this side you can stop at this one cut it off and then solving the button so chain one put through weave in all ends so this in case if you want to make a button Like this. So next, I will crochet this flower. Before you begin, create a magic circle. Chain one, crochet eight single crochets. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have eight single crochets and then the tail pull through. Next, chain to braid yarn. So insert red yarn, pull through, and then cut the yellow yarn. For this one, crochet chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I have chain 8. I will crochet slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and the next one one single crochet and then half double crochet double crochets one two so two double crochets and the next one one half double crochet and the last one single crochet and then turn your work crochet single crochet in the opposite direction single crochet half double crochet and two double crochets one two and half double crochet single crochet and the last one slip stitch like this and then I will crochet slip stitch in this one 
with this seven so this created one petal the next one crochet repeating from this one so I will show you one more time so remember chaining eight one two three four five six seven and eight slip stitch in the second chain from your hook single crochet half double crochet two double crochets one two and then half double crochet single crochet turn your work crochet in the opposite direction single crochet half double crochet and then two double crochets one two half double crochet single crochet and slip stitch and turn your work and crochet slip stitch along the line one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in the next single crochet. So keep repeating this process all around, and you will have eight petals. Keep continuing and I will be right back. Now I have finished with eight petals and then I will join crochet slip stitch. From the first one and then chain one. Simply cut the yarn and pull through. And then time to decorate. So we have the band and the flower. And then put the flower anywhere that you like. Yeah, needle. 